Oh boy. We're back, finally. After... How many days now? Five? I meant to do two streams last week, and I ended up only doing one. What a shame. What a shame. So last time we were in the middle of this side quest that I started. I don't know how long this is. I think this side quest is fairly short. But, uh, we still got two more to go before I can beat the game. And that will just be tonight's stream. Uh, it's until I beat it, essentially. So if I beat it in under three hours, then the stream will be less than three hours. Whatever you say, that's it, we're done for now, blah blah blah. They've done this a bunch of times. But this time he did not mention monsters, so... I wonder what that means. Elixir. So yeah, this is uh, another one of those chests where you come back later to get the item. I believe that's a weapon. Let's make short work of these dudes. Anyway, I apologize for not doing a second stream last week. Uh, things came up, and both of the days that I had planned to stream, I ended up uh, passing on it. Ooh, life too, nice. So she's finally got everything, so I can put someone else in now. Uh, let's see. Either Robo or Ayla. Ayla needs 772, Robo needs 229, so we'll do Robo first. Yeah, I know it's okay, it's just, um, I'm really hoping I could pull off three streams this week. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it, but I've been trying hard to get, like, my list of, my backlog of things I need to do done. So hopefully I could stick to it. Okay, dark did not work on them. Magic is not very good. That's the thing, like, Frog gets a lot of good spells. Like, he gets a, a lot of healing and multi-heals, but... Uh, his magic stat is trash. Defunct. Oh, that's the name of the enemy. I was debating whether or not I want to go, like, straight into, uh... Like, whether or not I want to go, like, straight into doing, trying to do New Game Plus for this. But, uh, I think what I might do... Is, uh, take a break. Because I think New Game Plus on this is only going to take me, like, three or four streams. But it's still another three or four streams, and... I think after nine streams of this, I'm ready to, uh, to call it a game for now. I might save that for next year, just so I have something Chrono-related to do. We shall see. God damn. Oh, oh, never mind. No. And no.
So we've checked all the boxes, we've activated them all. We've repaired everything up the second floor. I don't know if you could repair the bottom floor, though. It, you should be able to. Oh, it's repaired now. Okay. There we go. Cyrus, the fool who challenged Magus, rests here. Cyrus, I hath returned. I shall honor my I shall honor my promise to thee. Man, that sword is huge. It's bigger than frog. Cyrus. Glenn. Thank you for making the journey here. Dear Cyrus, thou must think ill of me. On the contrary, you have come far, my friend. When Magus defeated me, I thought of all those whom I left behind. King Guardia, Queen Lean, and of course, you. Cyrus, your skill and dedication is superior. I can rest now knowing that everyone is in good hands. Goodbye, my friend. Cyrus, wait, I... 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 I love how Magus is just standing right there this whole time. The Queen, look after Queen Lean. Alas, and farewell, Glenn. Cyrus! I'm so sorry, Cyrus. The Masamune? Yep, I get this big uh, final power up, which actually makes him a good character again. <laughs> That's it! So I found out in Chrono Cross, Masa and Mune actually fuse with their sister that you see in prehistory, and that's what turns the Masa Mune into the Master Mune. And I probably knew that, but I completely forgot at some point. That was special. Quite. I guess it means that a hero's power comes from within. Mucho metaphysical, man. <laughs> like mind over matter, Mune. My... mind? Now for a yummy, full-on test! It's thrashing time! Give me that sweet, sweet sword! Oh yeah, I liked how Magus there. Now you can see him, like, turning away. Tis flowing with strength and vigor. Ah! Tis the true identity of the Masamune! Cyrus, I promise to fulfill your wishes. Tis a sad farewell. Onward, all! I think the implication was that, um... Magus is still being blinded by the Masamune. Because it was made to, like, strike him down. Cyrus sleeps here, avenged by his friend Glenn. Except not really, because Magus is still in the party. So anyway, uh, the Masamune is now even more powerful, has two times hit for magic enemies, and it's time to re-equip the hero medal. In the DS version, you actually get, uh, everyone gets like a super weapon in the post game. Instead, Frog gets the hero medal plus, which just makes the Masamune even better. So he actually he keeps the Masamune and just doesn't get another upgrade for it. It is pretty bittersweet, but hey. Sword. And now if I go to the present, I can get the sweet, sweet loot that was in there. That's it for now.
Also, you can see Cyrus is not here anymore. I do not know if there's enemies in here still, though. There's a magic tab. I see something over there? Yes, I did! What do you know? I shouldn't be so quick to jump the gun around here. There might be hidden shit everywhere. Nova armor leveled up. Got one moon armor. Interesting. I definitely underestimated or overestimated how hard Glenn's uh, side quest was. I could have swore that his this quest was a lot harder, probably because I tried fighting Cyrus the first time I played it without thinking about it. Leveled up for level up for Siren. Got one Valkyrie, very spelled very oddly. That is not how Valkyrie is supposed to be spelled. Kali Blade leveled up, got one Shiva Edge. So let's see. Give him the give him the power tab. Give Magus the magic tab. And let's see what we got here. It's not for him. Shiva Edge. Four times damage at critical. Wow. So I lose three speed, but I get um Pretty substantial boost in attack. What was the other thing I got? It was the, the Valkyrie. Valkyrie. No special bonus, but wow. Her attack jumps from 80 to 133. So that's worth it. Don't get the random slow anymore, but whatever. And then the other thing I got was the armor, right? Moon armor. Magic defense plus 10. Wow. So Magus already has a pretty high magic defense. I should probably give it to Frog. He probably needs it the most out of everyone, but his defense is also the highest of the four guys, so... Or one of the highest. It's definitely not the lowest. So the question is, do I beef him? You know what, I'm probably gonna use Magus at the end, so I might as well beef him up. Give him the moon armor. And if the Nova armor's still good, I could give that to, a uh, Frog. So yeah, speaking of frogs, and I know I brought this up to you before we streamed, or before I started streaming, uh, Nintendo apparently... The rumor going around is that Retro Studios, the people that made all the recent, like, Donkey Kong games, they're making an F or a Star Fox Grand Prix game, which is going to be, they said, like a cross between F Zero and Diddy Kong Racing, and it's going to have like, kind of like an interesting like hub world with the racing mechanic. There's going to be bosses, and it's just going to take place in the Star Fox universe. And I thought that was pretty weird on its own, but then it turns out that Nintendo had apparently just filed for, uh, trademarks for, uh, Smash. Pikmin, and F-Zero. So, this might be more than just a, like, Star Fox game. This might actually end up being, like, a fucking, uh, F-Zero game. And if it is, that's gonna be so cool. I mean, obviously the biggest problem is that it's not gonna be what people want, and it's not gonna go over well. I'm willing to give Retro Studios the benefit of the doubt if, uh, that is the case. There's anything else down here? Because here's the thing. 
It, it's like what happened with Federation Force. You, you announce the game after there hasn't been a Metroid game in like eight years, nine years, whenever it was. When was Other M? Like 2010? So you end up with a situation where it's like the f franchise is coming back for the first time in a while. And it's with the game that no one wants. It's like, oh, this isn't what we wanted. We're not going to enjoy this. And then it turned out Federation Force was like a fun game, but it's just not what people wanted. And I feel like we might, if, if the Star Fox Grand Prix game is real, we might be entering sort of a similar situation here. Where it's like, you know, it's F-Zero inspired. Okay, but we haven't had an F-Zero since 2006. Why don't we get a new F-Zero game? And it's also, you know, the last Star Fox game that came out didn't do well, despite it apparently being okay. I haven't played it, so I don't know. But I feel like we're in a position where it's like, if they don't announce a mainline Star Fox or F-Zero, people aren't going to be happy about Star Fox Grand Prix. So, I'm hoping that maybe the fact that there's an F-Zero trademark means that maybe we're getting another announcement alongside it. Maybe we're getting... Uh, a, uh, I don't want it, but a 3DS F-Zero. As much as I will play it, I would rather just have it on Switch now, but... You don't know. You never know how this works. Anyway, I got the other shit. Kali Blade has no special effect. Uh, the other thing I got was Nova Armor. Protect status. Oh, that's actually... In a way, that could be even better than, uh... The other armor. Because this flat-out makes you immune to, uh, status ailments. What was the other item? It was, uh... Her... Siren. Random stop. Eh. Anyway, now that that's all said and done, uh, there's one more side quest to take care of, but before we do that, let's go back to the mountains real quick, because now that I'm upgraded, I can finally get the item here. I knew that was there, and I didn't do anything to stop it. <laughs> it's interesting how the Masamune, like, you complete it in this game, and then between now and the second game, it gets stolen, and then it gets upgraded even further. But I'm also... I can't remember a lot of Chrono Cross, which is weird because I just saw someone stream it, like, two years ago. All I know is it gets stolen. Here it is. Come on. I await thee, Freelancer! It starts glowing in Frog's hand. You got the gold rock! A changed frog art I! I mean, to be fair, Chrono Cross is kind of a hard series to remember things about. Because, you know, there's, there's one world, and then there's another world, and then there's... 
connections to Chrono Trigger and non-connections to Chrono Trigger and um, baby daughter clone. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Chrono Cross was a weird project, and I think if Akira Toriyama was still on, on board with it, it wouldn't have been as weird as it was. So, okay, so I think we have all the stones now? I'm not sure. There's four, I believe. Black Rock, Silver Rock, Gold Rock. I think the last one might be in the last dungeon. Dark Eternal, Spin Strike, Tri Grand Dream. Grand Dream is Frog. Silver Rock is Frog, Ayla, and Robo. Dark Eternal is Moro, Luca, and Magus. All the I've said this before, but all the rocks uh, purposely do not involve Chrono. It's essentially the triple text that you could do without him. Yeah, baby daughter clone. Anyway, I think we could put him on the back burner for a while. Who else needs to learn something? Ayla. So we'll do um, Ayla, Ro or Robo, Ayla, and Magus. That's good. Everyone's levels are kind of equal. They're lower, but they need to get skills, and I'd rather they get the skills first. Damage all enemies with max shock. Damage enemy with triple kick. Yeah, that's Ayla's downside. She gets no um, multi-attacks. Kissy. Power of life and death. Uh, we were doing good with that not happening this stream. Babu daughter clone. for these guys. They can't land a, a hit on us. But yeah, I mean, we're getting some weird, uh, weird rumors now around E3 with that Star Fox game. I mean, it's totally plausible. I could see it happening. It's just very, uh, very odd. And it makes me wonder if, like, if that's what Retro is working on for Nintendo, what kind of shit is Nintendo working on that we don't know about yet? Also, this year, what the, was the, what was up with the hair color changing cross? You know what? I have no clue. I have absolutely no clue. Nope, couldn't do it. So there are two robos in this time period now, somehow. Time travel's fun. Again, it's very interesting how it gets, like, very, like, open-ended towards the end of the game, and then that's when you actually start making, like, changes to the timeline, when everything up to this point is linear. Sight cap. Oh, but she has the tab in helm. Uh, Aeon suit's actually better for people. We'll finally sell that. We don't need that anymore. We don't need that. We don't need the Brave Sword. Uh, we don't need that. Load vest is better for Ayla. Alright, hold on. 
Uh, but she has the white nail on. That said, I don't think she has any elemental affinity. Oh, but it's only one point more. So, you know, it's not even worth keeping. Keep the crisis arm. No point in selling that. Anyway, one more side quest. Oh yeah, like I was saying, uh, and if it's fitting because I'm playing uh, Chrono, um, apparently uh, Square Enix is going to have a con uh, conference this year, which I'm pretty sure they haven't done that since 2015 or 2016. It's been a few years. I believe 2015 was the last time they did it. So, you know, we might finally get something on Final Fantasy VII Remake. I imagine if Kingdom Hearts 3 is coming this year, we're finally going to get a release date at E3. And who knows, maybe they'll surprise us with something good. Octopath Traveler comes out in July, so I imagine that'll show up there. What is this place? The Giant's Claw. Alright, so... This is an annoying-ass dungeon, and it leads to... There's a lot to it, I believe. Toma's crumpled note. Those holes. What if I jump into them on purpose? Yes. I'll start back at the beginning, and... So, surprise, this dungeon is actually the remnants of the Tyranno Lair from millions and millions of years prior. Also, you could sit in the throne. And have a good chuckle. Looks like the Reptite's castle. Prehistoric castle? Magus, you've never been to prehistory. Also, I feel like Ayla should have said something there. Screw it, I'm, I'm loading. I'm loading since I just saved. I want Ayla to get her to a little dialogue. Because this is honestly the closest thing she has to a... Uh, to a, a, a side quest here. Prehistoric castle? Now, does Ayla just not say anything? This must be pushed. This must have been pushed underground when Lavos fell to the earth. Alright, whatever. Ayla, you take front and center here. Look, I'm not saying that there's a chance that there might be some kind of chrono related announcement at E3, but if there is, I will shit my pants. Very interesting that the music does not change here in battle. Like, they treat this like it's the Tyranno layer all over again. Also, I get to see my favorite enemy again, the, the Moob Dinosaur. Sight cap, that's pretty useless at this point. And before more Final Fantasy. Well, the thing is, they're very focused on keeping uh, FF15 active right now. I think they have DLC planned for it up through next year, which is ridiculous since the game is already a year and a half old.
damage. Same room from before, isn't it? Oh, that poor cat. Also, I like how the chests are still open here. See, I wonder if you leave these chests in the Tyranno layer, are they just filled here? Because you can't go back to the Tyranno layer. Falling down these is intentional, actually. Alright, Dino Tail is a multi-hit attack, that's it. But I believe it's less powerful, according to the description. It does less damage the more health you have, so... It's probably not gonna be too... ...useful. Or not, it could still do a shitload of damage. What? I no. Shit, I pressed the dino button. Press A to dinosaur. Power tab. Neat. Ooh, there's a tab down there, too. Tabs for days. Ooh, Blue Rock. Alright, cool. So there's uh, another one of the triple tech items. Blue Rock invokes a Mega Flare. That's for Luca, Robo, and Magus. So Luca and Magus get quite a couple of these. I don't know what you need for the Gold Rock, though. It's just Frog, apparently. Grand Dream. I think that's all of them. I think there's four total. Tell me that was a dead end. I have to go all the way around now, I think. Yep, because I'm back here. Shit. I was going to say, thankfully the enemies don't respawn, but apparently that was a mistake. Oh, the cat falls down no matter what.
Shock, Magasorn's black hole. Nice! So that just means there's yet two. Uh, oh, well, he doesn't learn Frog Squash yet. Shit. I better switch him in then. So these three are the only ones left that need to learn something. So he needs 800, he needs 200, and she needs 500. Lower HP equals greater damage. Oh, so her, uh, Frogs and Ayla's, uh, specials are the same. They're multi-hit, and they do more damage the lower their HP is. Those guys weren't there before. That scared the shite out of me. Oh, Black Hole, I think, is one a single target. At full HP, that does no damage. Shit. By the way, see ya. You're dead. I do not think you get anything for doing that, though. It, I think that just instant kills an enemy and removes them from battle. Zodiac Cape. Well, we know who that's for. Or not. Oh, maybe it's, um... Uh, okay. No, it's a, uh, oh, it's a female thing. Magic Defense plus 10. Not really good for her. I think Marl got the best boost out of it. No, actually, she doesn't. That said, uh... Oh, Ayla's magic defense is shit. Alright, yeah, we'll give her the Zodiac Cape. I feel like these dungeons are kind of tailored to give the specific characters that you would assume you use in them. Uh, better equipment. There's a lapis. I really should start using those. It's probably more reliable uh, multi-heal than frog. Store all allies HP. Who else has a heal move? A 
Heal ally full, restore all HP. Heal ally more, restore allies HP. Oh, he does. So it's just it's just cure beam and heal, which aren't really that great. <laughs> I don't know if this is the last room or not. I don't think it is. Boobasaurus! Access this one. Also, how are these torches still lit? Rubble. Lock all. Oh, neat. This is one of these, uh, so this is where you could farm these things later in the game. Magic. Frog Squash. We should probably get Marlo Luca in here just because they're lower leveled at this point. Also, this team kind of doesn't have good healing, so. actually the way out? Uh, let's save and go the other way first. Because I, if I recall, this dungeon has a very unique ending to it where uh, you're automatically transported out as you're leaving it. Frenzy Band. Eighty percent counter rate. Ooh, that's pretty good. I don't know who I'm bringing with me to the final battle, honestly. Probably Marl, honestly. Ah, oh, I might need his, uh... 
I don't know. I don't know how I want to do this. And maybe I'll just leave the frenzy band off. Counter isn't always not that great. I have to fight these assholes. Cube toss. I have to see how that move works, honestly. Attack enemy with cube toss. Okay. I'm curious. Show me more. Tell me more, internet. It's everyone. That's not a cube. It's also good good sounds right there. That is a uh, pretty anus shattering, not gonna lie. Ah oh, damn. The one time I want enemies to respawn and they don't. So, it's a recaller boss, and a pretty beefy one at that. You can't just slide past it either. This is the Rust Tyranno. I believe this is like one of the hardest bosses, honestly. If I'm not mistaken. See how a cube toss works. That's pretty substantial. Dark Mist does more damage, because this thing clearly isn't weak to uh, electricity. This takes normal damage from it. There we go. I don't know if the implication is that this is the same dinosaur from 65 million BC. 
but it probably isn't. Ear grinding noise, let me tell you. Eh, not that powerful. I guess considering that this is the last optional dungeon before I beat the game, it's not really uh, posing too much of a threat to me. Actually, can I? No, we can't. Oh, but now it's actually doing moves. Uh, he needs a healing. Fire power up. Uh oh. Oh, he's doing this again. Oh, I won. Cool. Easy. And it's gone. Just like that. This is the rainbow shell. Phew. Who's going to carry this for us? A little too big. So yeah, as you're leaving, it just fades out. Hello, you're always welcome here. What can I do for you? Well, I get it. You want me to keep that huge shell safe here until the next century, right? I ask for the sake of Ayla. Please carry out their request. Done. I shall obtain the shell and store it in the castle as a national treasure. Knight Captain. Yes, Majesty. Go and obtain the rainbow shell and bring it back in one piece. At once, sire. Thank you, Your Majesty. And Queen Lean, too, of course. And they're nice enough to put the Epoch here, too. Anyway, that finishes that dungeon, but this quest is not over yet. In fact, there is quite a bit more to this, I believe. Including a difficult boss battle.
Uh, she has the tab and helm on, though. Eh, whatever. It's not like we're, we're hurting for cash here. Oh, I will uh, buy another set of shelters. So now, there's just another wing to the castle that gets put over here, for no reason at all. This is the treasury. No entry permitted. So yeah, they didn't have a treasury, and me finding that rainbow shell made one, I guess. The king get ordered. The king ordered that the court be locked until the trial's over. Trial? The trial of the centuries to be able to begin. Who's you ask? King Guardians, of course. They say the king sold off the royal treasures. The king ordered that the court be locked until the trial be over. Arr. Same thing on the left. Weren't there some stairs over there? No entry allowed. Let me through! Had any of you heard of the Rainbow Shell? I too had no idea until I found this. It's an ancestral will. It says, unveil the Rainbow Shell to the people at the Millennial Fair. Wait a minute, I just said, I just realized it didn't say Millennial, that's a Millennial Fair. Wow. Is that how it's been spelled this whole time? And I kept saying millennial? Jesus. Millennial. Millennial. Fair. Holy crap. What are you talking about? We have no family heirlooms here. So this is a forgery. Why does the defendant deny the people a glimpse of the rainbow shell? Because he no longer has it. He sold the heirloom for cash. Witness, please. W what is it, Nadia? We are conducting a trial here. Father. Nadia, the Chancellor is trying to frame me. He hurls insults. Confirm your innocence with proof. Proof? Yes, if he hasn't sold the heirloom, it should be in the castle. Show me the rainbow shell and I'll accept his innocence. <laughs> Chancellor, what kind of trickery is this? Remove them! No entry allowed. Let me through! Princess, not even you may enter. Take Rainbow Shell. Save Marl's father. What are you saying? It's a lie! There is no heirloom. Remember, Marl? We ask Old King save Shell. Rainbow Shell here and now. Aha! The rainbow shell we gave to my ancestor 400 years ago is still here. It's probably in the basement. It's funny how Ayla is like the voice of reason here. How she somehow remembers that, uh... How time travel works. Ouch, a rat bit me! Dumb. 
The guy, the enemy's name is Dumb. Uh, the boss is itching to avenge the grudge he's been at in the family for, that's been in the family for 13 generations. <laughs> dumber. Dumb and dumber. Unbelievable. He's gonna frame the fucking <laughs> So there is a plot. Let's hurry. I confess, I bought it from the king. He said he needed the cash. Liar! I've never even seen you before. Order in the court. <laughs> Was I convincing? Perfect. Yeah, these enemies are literally beginning enemies. They're the same ones we fought in the cathedral. Which is a hint as to what's going on here, honestly. Lapis. Elixir. Hyper Ether. I don't believe you could get those two chests. They're just decoration. I feel like this is a good quest to do last because the dungeon definitely has the hardest boss of, of all of them, of all the post -game, like end game quests, and the story also ties into essentially the first plot point in the game. So you're kind of you're kind of revisiting and coming full circle with it. Elixir, Hyper Ether, Lapis. Uh, alright, okay, there we go. Wasn't activating for a second. The rainbow shell! Something here. Paper, here, paper. To Marl? Dearest Marl, I know things are tough between you and your father. But nothing can break your bond of blood, neither words of anger nor great distances. Someday, when you have children, you will understand. This special bond is part of the family tree which links us all together. Queen Guardia the 21st, Lean. Ayla known about leaving Nest. Time pass. Grow big. Leave Nest. Ayla leave Nest. Dactyl leave Nest too. Morrow leave too? Big change. Leave nest. Have baby. Baby grow big. Leave nest too. Father, hang in there. We're coming. You got one prism shard. Sure you ready to leave nest? Not too big yet. Members of the jury, if he is guilty, stand to the left. If innocent, stand to the right. Guilty. Yeah, unfortunately, the enemies respawn, which is really annoying. Just, just to waste your time. Decision is about to be handed down. The king requests that no one enter or leave.
Uh, I think it might be prudent to put Chrono in here. Princess, not even you may enter. You won't reconsider? No, Princess. There's only one way. It's a bit rough, but just follow me. The verdict is in. Guilty! The Guardia line ends here. This domain shall be mine. Take him away. Wait. Who is it? Father. Nadia. Princess, control yourself! You're too late. The king has been found guilty. Even kings are subject to our laws. No, this was a setup. Nonsense, the king's a crook. But the treasure is right here. Impossible! Your little scheme is over, Chancellor. Grr, I, I mean, uh... Huh? <laughs> it's not the plot you think. I'm here to avenge my ancestors. Super Ultra Presto Transformo! It's the first boss again. Only blue. Yakra the 13th. Alright, this bullshit. He could subject you to a chaos. I believe attacking him with physical attacks makes him do, like, a really powerful counter on you. about it from the ancestors what the weaknesses are it. Oh, here's the move that's annoying. Eh, but not that annoying. Needle Spin, version 13. Oh, 
I didn't mean to do cure shit. And I did it on her, too. Just get shit off for that. Great. Father, I... No, don't say it. I was wrong to be so stubborn. No, I didn't even think about how you felt. Um, I know it in my heart, but the words just came out wrong. I too have that problem. I thought you left me, but realized that it was I who abandoned you. But I'm here now. We'll talk about everything that's happened. About Chrono and Mother and... Your mother. How sad. It has taken me this so long to understand what Eliza meant with her last words. Someday when Nadia grows up, she will bring her beloved to meet you. Welcome him warmly. It will be a day you remember forever. You heard her last words? Of course, you were so young. You ran around saying, Daddy, it's fun having all my favorite people here. Seeing you so happy, she felt reassured, and she left us quite peacefully. So that's how it was. Yes, why? I used to call you Daddy? You did. I'm sorry, Daddy. I'm really sorry for doubting you. Let you exit the castle, but you be careful now. Take care of her. It's my turn now. No, it's my turn now. Oh no, it's Melchior shit. Melchior. Can't let you run the whole show. Let me make some weapons from the rainbow shell. Finally, time for me to do something. Watch and learn. Sorry, fellows, I'm terribly embarrassed. Take care of Princess Nadia, okay? Oof. Okay, before we go down there, let's go back up here. Open this. Alright, I guess we can't. Oh wait, no, that's what that's what we get uh from the other room. So, the Chancellor was a beast! You got one Yakra key. Also, they repaired that window really quickly. I love how there's people just sitting in here waiting for a trial to happen. They must get really bored. You, finally! That beast keeping me locked up in here! Princess Nadia, your friends, I presume? Wait, I don't have time for this. I must prepare for the Moonlight Parade! So yeah, just another little throwback to the beginning of the game, because you found the Chancellor in the chest back then, too. Oh, he's not here, though.
This is very rare, as armor it deflects magic. I can make you one prism de address, featuring maximum defense, or I can make three less effective prism helms. Which would you prefer? The dress. The dress? Only females may equip it. I want the prism dress, I've changed my mind. Uh... Fuck it, we'll take the dress. Alright, you just wait here! Finished! Off you go now! Ah, Sunstone! I'll create an alloy out of it! Finished! Off you go now! Prism Specs. <laughs> Don't think that's the... Don't think that's the last of my bag of tricks! Oh, he's making more shit. Finished! Off you go now! Got one rainbow. Ooh. I finally feel like I'm doing something worthwhile! If I'm not mistaken, that is Chrono's best weapon. 70% critical hit rate. However, it does less damage at critical. So Prism Specs, what the hell do those do? Ups attack power to the max. And Sunshades did what? Ups attack power. Prism Dress cuts magic by one-third. Which is kind of in incorrect. It's more like it cuts it down to 30%. It cuts it down to one-third. Wait, do I have exactly 40,000? Oh, 400,000 for gold. Wow, that's a weird amount. So let's see. You wish to fight Lavos, correct? Many paths lay open. You may There's the Black Omen, which floats in the sky above your world. So no. It's up to you to decide when and where to fight Lavos. By now, you must realize you're the only ones who stand a chance against them. Have you not be alone? I've convinced it. one of you is close to someone who needs help. Find this person fast. Hmm. Wait, is there another quest I haven't done yet? That I'm that I'm forgetting about or no? I don't know. All that's all that should be left is the black omen at this point. Now we could theoretically do the black omen three times if we wanted to, but this stream's already going to be long enough by going through it once, so we'll just stamp it out of the root. Epoch, go! remember anything else unless you want all the endings. Well, you can't get all the endings now. At this point in the game, there's only one ending left that you can get with two variate with a few variations on it.
fools! Haven't you learned your lesson? We are immortal! We shall live forever with Lavos, who devours this planet even as he sleeps. Draining this planet's power, Lavos will rule the world in a mere 14,000 years. The Black Omen is a path which leads to Lavos. It is a shrine which provides us with limitless power. As long as the Mighty One reigns, your dreams are hopeless. And then she pieces the fuck out. Oh wait, no, she summons a mutant thing. You should sacrifice yourself to the mighty Lavos. <laughs> now she pieces out. Mega mutant. Chaos, wait a minute. That's not good. Shit. target. Ooh, I should probably take Marl out. She's not too useful right now. Blacken. Easy. Also, awesome music here. Feel yourself, coward. Ah, screw this. Took you long enough. Oh, Incognito is uh, the shielded form. Peeping Doom is when it opens up. I see now. Kind of wish the music wouldn't change here for battles. Like this is one of the area. Like it's the last dungeon of the game. I would expect the music to not change during the during the battles here. Like, I mean, it didn't during Ocean Palace, and that was a big deal. Martello. How much longer do they got to go for their techs here? 85... 
333. All right. So Ayla will get her soon. Which is good, because Ayla's the last person that needs skills to unlock new skills. And at Magus, I'm not taking out of the party anyway. Except for when I'm going to get some double and triple techs soon. Hear ye, hear ye. Okay. Oh shit, it was down. So I just realized, model's glowing. Does that mean the prismatic dress just gives you shell? Oh god damn it, that healed it. I don't remember these enemies. What the fuck? Sync right. down enemies, right? Panels. They're just like wall mechs that launch missiles at you. Also, they're invisible. Technically, they technically just don't die. Or whatever. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I've got nothing to talk about, so I start mumbling. Halo learns triple kick. Alright, cool. Oh, now they die. They die after you fight them. That means everyone's learned everything except for Magus. However, I am going to actually him out of the party for a little bit because now's the time for me to start like farming getting all the techs together I don't want to mumble because then it's like not interesting oh look at that damage or a normal attack
Alright, so we learned Interpo 3. Do we already have- oh yeah, we already do. We already have uh, his, his duels or his triples with everyone there. Alright, Ayla will go in next. I believe this is another one of those, uh, lock all- yeah. One of those challenge fights. Only this one actually fights you. Any news from the Pokemon world? So empty with new game news. Yeah, we haven't heard anything yet about that. I think at this point it's safe to assume they're waiting for E3. Because if they would have announced it, it would have already been announced at, like, sometime this month. And we're already in the second half of May in another two days, so... It's probably not happening till E3. Oh god, we're, we're actually getting close to death here. Runs away, cool. Final kick. I I mean we're I would assume we're gonna hear about it fairly soon at this point. Cause they're not gonna go past E3 without talking about it. And at this point we're less than a month away from E3, so they might as well just wait. I guess you're supposed to beat the boss orb for first, and then the other two. I don't know, I almost said forced. It's like when I try to talk, I'm forcing myself. Honestly, I'm in no rush to hear news about the new Pokemon game. I'm sure whenever we hear it, it's gonna be the right time. That's all I know. Learn triple tech. I don't know what that said. Tr triple raid? No. Arc impulse. I wonder what real life place they're picking this time. Um, you know what would be awesome if it was like the entire world. I mean, if this if this game's gonna go big, have it have like the entire world available in it. I know that that's like kind of the like the the standard like dream of of all Pokemon fans where they're like, oh, put every region in it. But like, why the fuck not? We're going big with the Switch. We might as well do it. Uh, Magus won't unlock anything. So let's switch out Luca now. Yeah, we'll put them all down there. And then we'll do Robo. Uh, oh, wait. We already have Luca, Robo, and Chrono, don't we? Then again, there might be double techs, or dual techs, I don't know for them yet, so... It's worth checking out anyway. Metal Mute.
Oh, she's down? Frig. Yeah, I was about to use the coffee pot punch, but it didn't work. I had to revive. That's gonna do piss damage to him, because he's lightning, so... Uh, never mind. Okay. I'm, I'm, like, wigging out now. Hold on. Here we go. Here's the coffee pot punch. Okay, they learned nothing. Uh, so it's Ayla next. And frog, then, uh, I should just start spamming, uh, spells now. You guys love just fucking Luca over, huh? Ayla get oh fuck she's at full HP. Ayla giving some loving. Yep. Her cheap, easy healing loving. That'd be pretty ambitious. Yeah, it would. But I mean, come on. It, it, like, it makes sense. We're at the point now where they could pull that off if they really wanted to. kick. Okay, next is Frog and Luca, and then I think all that's left is Ayla and Frog, and then Ayla Robo, and then Frog Robo. up for this. Frog bulges with, a, with, a, with what appears to be muscle. I imagine it's like, um, it's like his throat sack, only he could do that with his whole body. Oh, that did, like, nothing. That's cool. Oh, no. Oh, they're killing each other. I recognize this technique. Good. Delta Storm. Uh, so that covers everyone for Luca. So now Aola, 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 nice. Aola and Frog, Aola Robo. And then Robo Frog. And again, I didn't realize you could step on the empty parts. That must just be glass there. I think they changed that in the DS version. Oh, now the music's not changing in battle.
Nice, we actually took one out. Wow, I don't think I've taken out all of them before. 3D attack. Okay, now Ayla and Robo. And the last one will be Robo Frog. And then we'll drop Magus back in the party. Robo learned to Rick Roll. <laughs> Rick Rollo kick. Triple Tech Twister. the other way a dead end? It is, but there's still enemies. Wow, okay. They make that a lot easier for you. They kill themselves. Okay, they got all their dual techs. Uh, no, let's keep Frog in, just because he could heal multi, multi, and he can also hit decently. But yeah, everyone should have every tech now except for Magus. He should be missing his last one still. Mega Elixir. 3,000 gold, 30,000 gold, which we don't need at all. They could also finish Gen 6 in a way, because it felt like there was more to the game, but we never did get a follow-up. Eh, I don't think they had, I don't think they ever planned on it. To be honest. Given how quickly they moved on to the Gen 3 remakes afterwards, they probably had no plans on expanding Gen 6. I know I could probably take these guys out quicker with magic, but I'm just not in the mood. I'm just mashing. Uh, he needs 200 more skill points, and we're good. Actually, hold on just one second. I gotta take care of something real quick.
at this point, just a matter of, you know, grinding a bit as we continue on. Kind of scary the lyrics even fit Robo. Yeah, they do, when you think about it. So I don't think this- oh wait, no, maybe they do. I can't remember- yeah, they did run away. I was gonna say, maybe the sidekicks don't run away until you beat the core, but they do. Also, again, sorry for the stuttering, it just- that just happens. I don't know if it's the game, or the Super Nintendo, or, or what, it's just- it's just the thing that happens. I'm, I'm getting... I have, to, I have to deal with something important. Darkness Eternal was a Dark Eternal. Sorry, I just got, I was looking at something. Um, I don't know. Wait. Oh, you mean the Triple Tech? I believe it's down here. Spin Strike, Omega Flare, Dark Eternal. One, no space between the words. That's for Luca, Morrow, and Magus. Because the rocks are all all uh. The rocks are all non-chrono moves. Otherwise, chrono's involved in every triple tech. 
Magic seal. Uh, it doesn't do anything. Oh, never mind. It just gives you a pretty substantial buff. Oh, it doesn't do anything for Magus. It kind of just lowers him. His M defense is maxed. Wow. Is Martello a reference I don't get, because I just thought it was a random name. It is. Oh, it's a random name. Alright, never mind then. Vigil Hat. Protect status. Oh, actually, that's good for Chrono. He needs a, a status protecting item. Wait, what? Oh, it said it's empty. <laughs> Nova Armor. Mega Elixir. Oh, hey, it's the item that we had to find special before, and now it's just lying around. Wait, no. on the safe point. What will you do? Shop, just chat. Got a lot of great stuff. Why are you in here? Why not? We got we got loads of mon loads of mun. We're good. Come again. These just don't sell too well. <laughs> Three of you, and in a place like this. You've got a long journey ahead of you, so please rest a while. And if you wish to awaken from the stream, there is probably a way. What will you do? Oh, that probably just sends you out. Haste Helm. Mega Elixir. I'm guessing Haste Helm speeds you up. 50% less time between attacks. Ooh. Nice. Honestly, Marl can probably use that more. Yeah, it's worth the minus one uh, speed or defense. Oh, 
Oh look, it's Crawly. Only... He's a generic enemy now named Tubster. Whoa! That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Oh, good. Oh, he just counters everything, huh? Alright, well, good thing I just saved. Oh, never mind. I won. Frog gets all the EXP for himself. Automod is being held for review. What? Yeah, allow that. Jeez. What? Oh, I clicked out of the window. Whoops! get that. Or do I come out the other way? Yeah, there's a door over there. No, your message sent the first time. It got auto-modded, but I was like, whatever. Whatever. I guess that works. Cybot. Oh, there was one in every spot. It was all a lie. Automatically, like, unselects them when they change form because they become a different enemy. These are the enemies you could steal the, uh, the glitch sword from if you know how to do it. Oh, 
Nice, making things easy for me. Ah, finally, learned dark matter. Zodiac cape. Don't I already have that? I think I already have that on someone. Yeah, I do. It's a female armor. And not as good as what I already have on these characters. Magic defense plus 10. What's the tab and suit do? Speed plus 3 plus fire up. Fire guard up. Uh, she could probably use the speed. Eh, you know what? Just keep the, yeah, keep the tab and suit on her. doing on levels here. 48, 47, 46. I'll switch in Luca so she can get some EXP. Nice, that wasn't bad. See, the thing is, the problem with, uh... <clears throat> with Magus is that, yeah, he gets dark magic and he gets the most powerful shit, but... So many enemies absorb it. Ah, oh, fuck, they absorb lightning, though. So I got unlucky here. I got very unlucky. Luca's dead. Fuck! I wasn't paying attention. Damn it. Damn it all. low on that ATB down there. Also, the battle music started changing again. Very inconsistent. Wow, that, uh, that flare blows through, uh... Blows through, uh, MP really quickly. As it should, since it's super powerful anyway. If these enemies don't change the battle theme. That's really weird. But 
Wait, no, don't... God damn, why did you change the target? I wasn't focused on that enemy. It's kind of lame. What was that damage before? Wait, did she have that random weapon equipped? Wonder shot, yeah it is. It's the one where the her last digit of her HP. Or is it her MP? I can't remember. It's one or the other. Power seal. That probably isn't gonna be very good for anyone. See that drops her attack because hit changes uh, how much damage she does. There's another patented square enix triangle. Let's see how good this attack does. Oh shit, here comes even more triangles. It's the death pyramid. God damn it. Of course it heals it. There we go. There's the damage. You can tell I've just run out of things to say at this point. This is the room I was in before. Another speed tab. This is a good time to give those to, uh... I should probably give them to Marl, honestly. Yeah, her speed is disgustingly low. Yeah, speed is one of those stats where it's like... It looks really low, but it's still important. Well, it's more like the the, the highest a speed can go it is pretty damn low. All right, 
right, here we go. Another section ahead. Nice face on those ones at the end. Blob and alien. Cool. Arc impulse. Oh, it only hits one, really? Wow, they just kind of sit there, don't they? Oh, neat. Okay, so he just instantly kills you if you attack him. That's pretty neat. Elixir. Oh, look, more of these enemies. Just waiting for you to cross by them. Another speed tab, perfect. Oh, I was gonna be faster than Sonic the fucking Hedgehog at the end of this. Speaking of Sonic, there may be a, uh, another Sonic stream coming up in the near future. Not saying next stream, but I'm, but I am saying within the next month or so, if uh, things go right. I recall this boss being kind of annoying. Giga Mutant. Oh, no, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Okay.
Maybe uh, the base? Probably not. Which one? Uh, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, most likely. With a Sonic and Tails run of the game. And then some other time I'll do a Knuckles run. Oh, good. Ice does, like, nothing. And I fucked that up so hard. Whatever. Whatever. We go we got this. Just get back to the single target shit. Please don't heal light. Okay, good. Give me the sucky suck. Probably have Marl use haste. But she does know that. And I'll crow go here. Before I picked Frog Squash. And it did come up too. I wasn't paying attention. Fuck. It's a waste of a move. I think the Masamune would do extra damage to the enemies in here, since the Masamune is pretty much strong against every, like, Dark Ages enemy. Masamune, yeah. That's how it's pronounced. You you have to say the E at the end. That's how Japanese works, okay? 
it, it's fin it's it's very syllable based. Though ironically, the end sound is like one of the few that doesn't have uh, requires a uh, a vowel sound afterwards. That's why they made the boss strong against physical attacks. That is true. That could definitely be the case. The Ocean Palace wasn't this big, so why is the Black Omen this big if it's the same place? Just warped. Thank you for doing the work for me. Japanese pronunciation can be pretty interesting, especially for English speakers. Yeah, I mean, I picked up on it pretty quickly in high school. I only took one year of it, but it was, uh... really stuck in my head a lot easier than a lot of other foreign languages. Probably because I had to learn a whole new alphabet for it. Or, sorry, two new alphabets for it. Or, I don't know, maybe my, maybe my heart was just more into it. Who knows? And that was a long time ago. That was 2004 to 2005 that I took that class. And I have not had a single class since then. <laughs> oh, I should have used the new ability. I didn't try it out yet. The main thing to know about Japanese is that almost every syllable has a vowel sound in it. It's usually... What the? Bats? Oh. It's usually one consonant and one, uh, one vowel. The drop. Oh, really? They, they, but they healed from light. Son of a bitch. Alright. They're really not intent on making this easy for me. Took a semester in college in 2001. It was odd getting accustomed to the idea that one vowel makes exactly one sound. Eh. I don't know. I got used to it really quickly. But that's probably just because I was super interested in learning it. How much Japanese do you know? Um, it's really hard to say. I know how to read hiragana and katakana. I can read some beginner's kanji. I know the basics of Japanese sentence structure. 
and it's just like, and I, I like, I, if, if if a sentence doesn't have too much kanji in it, I could read it. The problem is, I won't necessarily know what it all means in my head. I can recognize a few phrases, but like, if if, if it's like a, a long string of characters that make up a word I have no clue what it means, then I'm kind of lost. That's a big thing with Japanese sentence structure, too. There's usually no, um... There's no spaces between words, usually. Only at the end of sentences. Oh, that's not actually a door. Say, why is that a square? Uh, we better try something to take these out. Can you also write it? Oh wow, it just instant killed them. Can I write it? Uh, yes, under most circumstances, but also, you know, when I use Japanese, it's gonna be online, so I could just type it. It's a lot easier. Stroke order is very important for learning Japanese. You're always supposed to go from up left to bottom right. With up and, uh... Up, take it, wait. Yeah. Start the up left, height takes priority, and you always go d to down right. Think. It, it makes certain characters very interesting to write, because like if you see a box, you're not supposed to write it as like one stroke. You're supposed to go top left corner to top right corner, top right to bottom right, then do a second stroke of top left to bottom left, and then make that go bottom left to bottom right. It can be very tricky to learn. Speed speedo tab. Though I think I should switch tomorrow back in here because having um having a uh, taste is gonna be useful. sounds confusing. It is, but when you practice it, it gets a lot easier to manage. Learning kanji involves memorizing the stroke orders. That is true. It's way more important for kanji than it is for, uh, for the rest of the, the other two alphabets. Okay, this is the one that I remember being a pain. This thing can kick your ass, and it attacks a lot. So I could hurt the top, but not the bottom with that. And this probably does the opposite? No. Actually, the bottom just absorbs magic, I guess. Oh, and I see it absorbs the bottom. Oh yeah, now I remember. What you have to do is you have to keep damaging the top so it kills the bottom on its own. Because I think the bottom just kind of... ...soaks in hits. tried to learn other languages? Yes, I've tried Spanish and Italian. Spanish I had quite a few years of in elementary school. Um, oh, wow, okay, never mind. I guess I'm just insanely overpowered. 
Spanish I had quite a few years of in elementary school and high school. And Italian I took one semester of and I did really poorly in it. So I got another triple tech move here. Triple tech item. White Rock involves tri invokes triple tech Poyozo dance from Marl, Luca, and Ayla. I guess there's five of them then. What am I doing? Back out, back out, back out. I'm not actually standing on it. We're in the final approach now. Another lava spawn. Though this one's a bit more deadly. Because, uh, it attacks normally, too. Admittedly, learning English wasn't exactly a smooth experience for you. Was, um, is English your second language? Or not your first language, rather? I guess it could be any, any number of languages. Probably the worst move. That water move. And it doesn't even do that much damage, honestly. Uh, let me guess that's chaos. Well, as long as it doesn't hit Marl. And oh, no, it hits everyone, never mind. Cool. more panels. Yeah. You actually tell what order they got killed in because it's it's so it's stereo. Like the ones on the- it went left, right, right, left, middle.
you'd say second language, your native language is Bengali. Weirdly enough, the Bengali grammar structure is pretty similar to Japanese. Oh, that's interesting. I have to look into that at some point. So this room is, is really bizarre. It, it All your characters are just floating in these tubes for some reason. I don't know if it's because, like, it's Zeol watching you or whatever, or by your eyes closed. I don't, I don't fucking know. This game is confusing. There's the busted mammoth machine. Behold, my pretties, destiny in its most beautiful and its most brutal form. All the dreams that might have been, all the happiness and sorrow you might have experienced, gone forever. For you, there will be no tomorrow. The dark omen transcends time and space, waiting for Lavos to awaken. Destiny has led you here, and here you shall and here you shall rest forever, unless you could defeat me and smash the omen. Come, dear friends. Perhaps I can persuade Lavos to share his dreams with you. Did I say dreams? I meant his eternal nightmare. Time for Zeal. Alright. Yeah, this. She brings you down to 1 HP. Not fun. Maybe they're clones? I don't know. It's hard to say. Ah, uh, my stream is chugging again. I really hate that that happens. You sure love using that move. Got a mega elixir and nothing else. Ah, my powers don't seem to work here. Wait, I'll simply toss you into the Memon machine. You'll be one with the Omen, Lavos, and me. No, I think I'll pass on that. We'll just uh, blow our first three turns doing that. There we go. 
Now, the, I brought cr uh, Frog here for a reason, because if you do this, it should, yep, absorb the energy. So yeah, it gets, um... It gets more energy from magic, but then, um, the Masamune absorbs the magic back. Is it just me or does that move sound like the THX sound? Yeah, kinda. Queen's attack. Oh, you mean the Halation move that brings you to one uh, HP? Uh, I would say it sounds similar. I wouldn't say it sounds exactly like it, though. Shit. And it's beaten. Such a killer game. Hell yeah. You cretins. I plan to live with Lavos and control the universe forever. You will not get in my way. Idiots. Nothing can last forever. Zeal, a pitiful woman duped by Lavos. I myself will bring an end to all of this. Prophet, you are doomed. I haven't forgotten what you did at the Ocean Palace. You will now forfeit your life. This is why I brought Magus to this fight. Don't believe the Masamune does anything special here. Now's the time for Frog to probably go in the defensive. Alright, shit. MP Buster. And Life Shaver. Alright, so... Uh, 
Oh god, I wish my stream would stop chugging here. Alright, physical attacks on the right. Also, if you don't bring Magus to this fight, it actually just plays the Boss 2 theme instead of his theme. Maybe be prudent to just go after the head. Shadow damage, damn it. Oh, thank god he absorbed dark magic. I would have gone really badly otherwise.
More geometry. Square puts a lot of geometry in their games. Really not liking how slow the stream is getting, though. I'm really hoping it's just Chrono Trigger that's causing that, because having to deal with that constantly is going to be a pain. There we go. How dare you insects come after me! Oh, almighty Lavos, lend me your power. And now shit gets real. <laughs> At last, Lavos awakens. Compared with him, you are like germs, but I, I shall obtain immortality. They really put you through the ringer when you do the Black Omen. Three bo four bosses in a row. Lavo sensors attack mode. So somehow he knows about all these bosses, even the ones in the future that you haven't fought yet. However, thankfully, you are allowed to heal here. For the geometry, I think it's more a matter of the SNES GPU capabilities with Square making the most of it, rather than a creative director at Square being obsessed with geometry in general. Yeah, no, I'm aware of that. But, you know, even, um... I'm trying to think, even Final Fantasy VII had heavy use of geometry in their spells. But again, it's probably easier to render that than trying to make some complex model. Uh... I guess we could bring Robo with us, why not? Parts in the right store energy. Guess what? It's already dead. Lavos changes attack mode. It's interesting how he makes like little like extra life forms to replicate the other bits. And like every form, it looks different. But it's also kind of amusing because they all have the same HP as the bosses you fought back then. So you're just like way stronger than these forms. It's mostly just a matter of going through the marathon.
my fu it, its bottom part is weak to one thing and its top part's weak to another. Oh, of course it does MP Buster. Fuck you. That's such a shitty move. Already dead though. Bell. It's really not much of a challenge at all. But yeah, next time I stream this game, prepare to see a lot of this. A lot of me doing the Lavos forms over and over again. shock yet. Guessing it's lightning element. No, never mind. It healed him. Now I hit him with lightning. You always hit him with the element that they use. That is dark. Yeah, sorry, it's been it's been over three hours, so I'm getting a little tired. But I'm so close to the end, there's no point in stopping and doing another stream.
Hello, Bean Wagon. How you doing? Come just in time to see the end. Moves defense and his storing power. Perfect. You're following me, but you don't remember what when you followed or what you were playing when you did. Oh. Well, I play a lot of shit, so... Could have been anything. Ugh, this lag is, like, killing me. God, that form takes forever. Uh, there's this asshole. Oh, Lavos is too much for the stream. I wish it was just that. It, it's been doing this on and off for the last few games I streamed. Also, I noticed my stream is kind of dropping frames here and there, too. It's not just lag. That really sucks. Now we actually have to fight it.
chaotic zone. Uh oh. Fuck. Hope Robo doesn't go berserk. He didn't. Good. I think maybe he has a protect status thing on. Oh. <laughs> wow, that was actually easier than one of the other forms. We were successful. It ain't over yet. We'll get to the bottom of this, Lavos. According to my sensors, we are close to the center. No turning back now. Except there is turning back. I am going, definitely going to turn back. You didn't hear my response to what what you said before. I it, honestly I don't know when you followed me either. So it could be a total crapshoot. Honestly, I stream a lot of stuff. So there you go. The poor woman can finally rest now that the black omen is gone. She's reverted back to a human. Now it is time for you to access the gate contained within that bucket. You fight not just for yourselves, but for all living things. This is a battle between Lavos and the entire world. So that's it then. There's no more, uh... Yeah, alright, so we're done with side quests. Um... Well, we got the Mega Elixirs and shit, so we're good for now. We don't have to worry about anything else. Full speed ahead. And because I don't want to fight that thing again, from the first form, we're taking the Epoch to the Apocalypse. Chrono, shall we go on? Fight. This will have no effect on Lavos. How about invading the interior with the Epoch? You really think this is going to work? The odds are not good. Perhaps if Epoch's energy and our own vitality are combined... Everyone, get ready for the initial impact. Waiting for you, Lavos. I don't think I've ever actually beaten the game like this before. I've never crashed the Epoch. Or the Epoch. I don't know what to pronounce. I'm assuming Epoch. All this does is make you skip that all that shit I just did too. You can open your eyes. We're inside. Epoch is in pieces. No turning back now.
Finally, you have met your match, Lavos. Amazing. It houses all the DNA of every creature that ever lived. Hell yeah, it's time for us to take it down. The beat life itself, essentially. Holy Jesus, that hurts. Yes, the true bad guy was Perfect Cell the whole time. Well, actually, it's not Perfect Cell, because Perfect Cell wouldn't have the, the mouth guard thing. That's Imperfect Cell. And he's got, like, Saiyan armor coming out of his ears. Revives main body. All right. Well, we don't want that shit. Yeah. Obstacle. What? Oh, is this is this the trend? Is that the original translation of the move that removes all immunities? Nope. Thank God. Cause uh, your status immunity shit means nothing to him. He could just pour right through that thing. Shadow slay. There we go. I think that's it. One or the other. I will say, he hasn't done any status ailment moves so far. Very interesting. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, no. dead again. Nope. Well, remember, he never actually died. Timeline-wise, anytime you see him die to Lavos, that's him getting replaced immediately by the puppet, or the clone, or whatever. Because, like, even if you beat Lavos while Chrono is still dead, it's implied that you do the bringing him back to life thing afterwards.
I'd be annoyed that I'm going over the normal time I do for a stream, but consider this like a bonus for the short streams I did lately. And wasted, motherfucker. This was Lavos's goal using the DNA of every organism, and achieving the ultimate in evolution. Attack value is... off the scale. It's shorting out my sensors. We were created only to be harvested. All people. And all living things. Human hands created me. Which means I am a product of that thing. I am no different than Luca and the others. I am part of all living things. It's over for you. Your life ends here. Labos cool. I believe aiming for the left is the smart one. I'm gonna use a Mega Elixir right off the bat to just refill everyone's HP, or MP rather. So it's interesting that, because in this version, all three of them are just listed as Lavos Core, whereas in, um, the DS version, they actually list each part separately, and they make it well- they make you well aware that the core is actually the thing on the right, and that's actually the real final boss. And this you're kind of just left to guess. Like, it, you're just kind of- like, you realize that after you've killed the other two parts, it's like, oh, the right one's not dead, so that must be it. Lava's core shuts off the fence, so now is when you start wailing on it. Because it revives the other two bits. I believe it's... Lavos pod is on the left, center pod's the middle one, and then the right one's the Lavos core. The one in the middle is the most damaging, but... Again, it's not the real enemy. You could take it out just as easily as the other one. Yeah. 
Essentially, the pattern's easy. Physical on the left pod, magic on the middle, and then magic on the right when, uh, its defense is down. the center pod now it's probably gonna be kind of pointless though because it's gonna revive it as soon as uh it's dead revives the lava spit yep however its defense i believe is still down for a short amount of time not sure Active life decreases defense power. What? Disables defensive status. Oh, yeah, that means that uh, he's no longer immune. Time warp. Good. It's a waste of an attack. Shit. Now, now we're kind of in a position where we just have to go, well, well now we have to just repeat the process over and over. But Grandstone is going to hold us up for a bit. Because that move is damaging. I might be able to beat the center pod before uh, I have to go after the one on the left. The one on the left only refills a thousand at a time. We'll attack with no center bit. Oh, so they just do like an X damage. Ah, oh, fuck. Lava's core shuts off defense. Okay, so leaving the left thing alive is not good because uh, that completely makes them counter bitches. Well, with all of them back, I can 
do magic on it again for a while until it increases its defense. So, works out either way. But the left pod is definitely the most dangerous one to leave alive because of that. Random status, ugh. Unfortunately, Chrono is not immune, so... Fuck. Power restored. All right, time to go after this asshole. That's fine. This attack only has HP. Dreamless ultimate magic attack. Uh oh. Oh god, it's the final triangle. Shuts off defense. This might be it. Maybe. I don't know. I'm tired. Yep. We're done. It's over. Ugh, oh god. It's flashing images. Wrecked. Absolutely wrecked. Chrono. 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 Time to rise and shine.
We have a little surprise for you. Your stay of execution has been cancelled. We must now carry out your sentence. Like, what the fuck, after all that? We've been looking for you, Chrono. Where did you take my daughter? Daddy, don't! Chrono hasn't done a thing! She says Chrono has been a perfect gentleman, but... What do you think, Chancellor? Chrono's deeds haven't had a no enormous... I, I forget the voice I already did from fuck... Because I was doing the, like, the evil one before. Chrono's deeds have, an, have, have had an enormous impact on the, on the kingdom. <laughs> Chancellor, how could you? Please, just listen to me. We had to... Save the future, right? Huh? You saved the future and gave us hope. Fought Magus's troops and brought peace to the kingdom in the year 600. Chrono beat Reptites. What? What's going on here? Luca, you brought them here, didn't you? Our kingsman told me all about your incredible mission. Kinsmen? You mean these are my ancestors and descendants? Here I was fussing about my kingdom and my daughter, and you were saving past, present, and future. Now for a true victory parade. Tonight we celebrate you. Now Marl, go out and enjoy the last night of the fair. Come along with Chrono, our hero. Princess Nadia is finally home. At last, Guardia is back to normal. It's a moonlight parade. They never really explain what happens, though. Do you just get flung back to your time after you beat Lavos, or, or what happens? Also, if you look down there, you could see, um... You could see uh, Luca's mother standing next to Tobin. If you don't save Luca's mother, I believe it's, uh, she's sitting down while Tobin's standing up. Oh, I forgot to do the things where you get more cats by getting cat food. I don't think I've ever done that, like, ever. Whatever. I don't have the time. I don't have the patience to do any more of this game. Honey, don't just be a sack of potatoes. Dance with me. Chrono, the king says you saved the future. Wait till I tell my friends. Yum. Lemonade sure tastes great outdoors. Chrono, have a sip. You're the hero today. You saved us all? That's nice, dear, but I wish you spent more time around the house. It's a real problem when the person who's in charge of the cat is gone. The princess is gorgeous. Don't get me wrong, of course you are too. This is fantastic. Much business and weapons anymore, but I like it that way.
Well, everyone, this is it. Each to thine time. The gate has grown weak. We've got to say our goodbyes before the gate closes. You're all leaving? Krono was strong. Maul too. Ayla have fun. You're my distant ancestor, so you'd better... You'd better have tough kids or I'll be in trouble. <laughs> no worry. Ayla very strong. Right. Hey, what do you mean by that? Kino dummy, we go now. Tis a feisty crowd, but they are thine kin, and tis of consequence. Queen Lena waits. Your majesty, we too shall take our leave. Mr. Frog. Long farewells near were necessary. Right. Besides, actions speak louder than words. Yeah, don't these things end with the princess kissing the frog? So... Going to search for Shala? Luca, I will miss you. What's wrong, Luca? Aren't you going to say goodbye to Robo? She knows. Knows what? Robo was born in a bleak future. When we defeated Lavos, we changed history. Robo may not exist in the future. Haha, <laughs> please relax. The new future has a place for me. Darn it, Robo, don't pretend you don't care when you're really sad. It just makes things worse. Luca, you have taught me these emotions. Thank you. Tears don't become you, Luca. Robo will be there in the new future. Good. Bye. Caution. Oil has washed over my sight sensors. Sight diminished. Remember that talk we had? You mean about whether our lives flash by before we die? Yeah, I get the feeling that the entity is finally at rest. Yes, I feel that too. Oh, Princess, the King asks for your presence. gift for you to commemorate this day, Princess Nadia. It's... It's Nadia's bell, which will replace the 400-year-old lean bell. Henceforth, Nadia's bell will proudly ring for lasting peace. <laughs> yeah, about that. It's beautiful. Now, you could do the honors. Done. Huh. 
Huh? Hey, hey, Chrono, help me! Luca, shoot it with magic! Did, did we all forget that we have that? Yeah, whatever. See, I'm used to the, um... Because I, I, I never crashed the Epoch when I played it as, uh, on the DS. So I'm used to the other ending where Chrono's mom jumps into the portal. And then you take the Epoch to find her. And then the king is stuck hanging from the bell in the town square. Good stuff. Yeah, that was, uh, it was a good time. I mean, aside from all the fucking lag and slowdown and bullshit, I don't know what's causing that. But I hope it stops because I can't stream like that if that's gonna keep happening. And there will definitely be more uh, Chrono Trigger in the future. I plan on doing the New Game Plus run at some point, but not anytime soon, because I'm definitely I've definitely had my fill of this game for now. Also, man, this uh, stream really uh, started dropping. Holy shit, I'm dropping a lot of frames. I don't know. See, the problem is I don't even know if getting a new computer would fix that. Because I feel like that's just Comcat or Verizon being a piece of shit about it. I always like to zoom out because it's like you, you see the whole world kind of in one thing and it's kind of it's you know it's globe shaped but it's also interesting because like there's clearly stuff that you didn't go to in terms of the concept of the world but you can't see it on this map <laughs> but I would say there's enough room on the unseen parts to like fit like the area from uh, Chrono Cross Then again, they probably just didn't think about it back then, so who cares? <laughs> I am exhausted. The song is really good. I mean, it would be if, if it wasn't crisping up in the middle of it. Yeah, this whole sh this whole Chrono Trigger stream has been pretty crispy, like crispy chicken. That's what I had tonight, actually, for dinner. I had fried chicken. Now, don't I get the option to save? I mean, I should. Otherwise, what's new game? How do you, how do you do new game plus? Uh, what happened? Did I click out of the window? Yeah, I did. 
That's probably why it's not moving. Wait, does it actually just unlock it as like an option now? That's weird. You wouldn't expect like a game like this to do that. Oh yeah, New Game Plus is just there now. Okay, well, that was a fun, fun trip down memory lane. Um, and that's going to be it for tonight, because it's, it's been four hours and I need to stop and I'm really tired. Uh, I am planning on trying to get another two streams in this week to make up for only doing one last week. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do it tomorrow and Wednesday, tomorrow and Thursday, or Wednesday, Thursday. I might end up taking tomorrow off, I'm not sure. Uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. Anyway, uh, is there anyone I want to stream before I go? And the answer is, not really. There's no one really streaming that, that really needs the host. So I'll just let auto host take over. Anyway, thanks for following, thanks for coming, thanks for sitting through all the, cr the crispiness, the crispy audio. You guys have a great evening, and I will hopefully see you later this week. Good night.